Hey guys, I decided to show you something different here. Uh, the vehicle control add-on now has the ability to create your own transmissions within the add-on. He added this feature four days ago. If you download the latest version from his GitHub, which is this here, github.com slash Mowgli12 slash vehicle control add-on, I'll drop a link in the description. But if you download this and you copy this XML here called transmissions.xml to your uh, your mod settings slash FS19 vehicle control add-on folder, it'll allow you to configure your own transmissions. And I've went ahead and done this. As you'll see in a second here, I've actually written out the quadrange transmission for all of the Soundguard cab tractors. I'm going to show you that in a second here. Alright guys, so this is a 4440 with a quadrange here. I've set up the transmission to work pretty much perfect in game. It's off by sometimes half a kilometer an hour to a whole kilometer an hour, but other than that, it's pretty much good. Uh, the only other thing is uh, the animations aren't set right, but uh, that's because this tractor was animated so that it goes 50 kilometers an hour, which means that these all of the controls are animated based on that speed, so they're all wrong. They need to be changed. But if you... Uh, you want to see the transmission in action here we go as you can see up on your top left there you have a chart that shows the gear ratio the gears and the speeds and uh, the ones in brackets are in kilometers per hour all right as you can see we're in a1 here and the chart says 3.3 kilometers an hour it says 3.1 here but that's okay it's close enough so we let out the clutch and the track just starts to roll ahead at idle here which is three uh one kilometer an hour or so and I give it full hand throttle here, and all of a sudden we're going 3 kilometers an hour. So we're going to back it off. I'll shift to A2, which on the chart says 4.2. So we'll rev it out here. As you can see, keep going. Keep going. Stop. We can shift the range to B1. Here we go. It says 7.6, but 7.4, still close enough. Keep going. All the way to B4 here, which is bang on 16 kilometers an hour. We'll stop, shift the range. C1 says 9, 8.6. Still close, right? Stop, shift the road range here. D. Now, the only thing I can't simulate with this is the ability to do the partial power shift. You do have to press the clutch on every shift, but it's a small price to pay for having a fully simulated transmission in the game. And that's that. We're doing 28 kilometers an hour. The reverse gears are a little off, but they work. Uh, so we'll shift it in reverse here. Got to now we're in the, they aren't labeled properly and, and he doesn't have the ability to do that so we're in essentially what would be AR1 so the reverse speeds are way off but they're there so this is AR2 we can shift to this would be BR1 BR2 This would be CR1 and CR2. They are way off, but it's the best I can do with what's available right now. So that's that. Uh, I plan to do a bunch of transmissions and then release the transmissions XML that I have. So stay tuned. I'll be making videos for all of the transmissions I'm doing, as well as I plan to make videos of all the other tractors I'm working on, explaining what I've done to them and whatnot. But for now, this is my uh, side project, is doing these transmissions, because this is a fun thing to add to the game, and if you have a steering wheel and a shifter, this completely changes the way you play the game. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and should have a few more videos here soon of these transmissions. Thanks.